Hi, and welcome to Super Kitchen Talk. My name is Asha, and I'm Sato. And nice to meet you, and we are so excited about this show. Today, we are going to cook wheat flour cookies. Mm -hmm. So let's start off with the ingredients. We need two sticks of butter. So what we did is we melted it. We melted the butter. So um, then we'll need two cups of holy flour. Uh, we need one and a half cup sugar. We'll need almonds, one tablespoon almonds. We'll need unsweetened chocolate powder, about one tablespoon. Elaichi, which is cardamom powder, we'll need about one tablespoon. And last but least, one tablespoon baking powder, which is needed for anything you bake. Right? So here we're going to begin. Now, Fajal is going to add the butter and the sugar. The butter and the sugar, what we do is we mix it first, right? Yes. We whisk it nicely together so that the sugar melts in the butter. And now we are going to use not the whisk, but the electrical whisk because it, it'll help you whisk it thinly faster. You don't have to move your hands as much, right? Let's show them the electrical uh, uh, whisk. Yeah. This is something really a nice tool. So here you go. Here. <laughs> well, don't try this at home. <laughs> A deep bowl would be needed, okay? So let, we're going to do it by hand now. Uh, by just doing that, we just had it spray all over the place, which we don't want you to do, right? So we're just going to use the regular whisk, right? So now she's whisking it really, really nice so that you know it becomes nice and soft. Well, let me tell you a story while she's whisking this. Me and Kaja met, you know, we met so many times, we would just say hi. Um, you know, until we moved really close together and, and started, you know, meeting each other regularly. And so, you know, Kajal is one of my favorite friends because she knows how to cook. Now, I don't know how to cook, so I used to go, oh, I always go by her place. And she cooks for me and I eat. So that's how Super Kitchen Talk has come about because I felt, let us share this knowledge with you all, you know. What's better than eating out? You save your money, and everything tastes so much better when you take your hands and teach your kids how to cook, you know? Now, Kaja is really good at it, and I hope from this show, for me to learn all of these wonderful tips she's given me. So, okay, so watch the whisking. Look at how nice that's looking. Uh, it's better that we, uh, you know, whisk it so that the sugar melts right. in, in the... Um, Now, in the butter. See the butter and the sugar? Right. How nice it is. Yeah. So now we're going to add two cups, right? Uh, what are we going to add now? The two cups of um, flour. Flour, the whole wheat flour. Again, that you have to whisk it very nicely, right? So we're, we're not going to use the electric one because we saw from that that it wasn't a deep enough bowl. So let's just do it with our hands. Now we're putting the baking powder, baking powder. One, tape, uh, one teaspoon. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to be adding the lychee powder, which is cardamom powder, one tablespoon. Finally, we are going to add, um, this is the uh, almond, which we got in the crunchy, put so crunches in your mouth. Um, and we're just going to mix that all together. And we've already preheated the oven at 375. So it's always nice while you're doing this part of it, you just preheat the oven. So it's ready so you just put it in when it's done. Right? Now we are going to use our hands. So we're using our hands. And we're getting right in there. Get your hands dirty. <laughs> we're used to this. Being Indian, we're always making flour at home. 
you know, roti. Roti is, uh, you know, chapati. it's like chapati. Yeah. You know, it's flat. It's, you know, this is almost like we're making chapati, but we're not. We're making cookies. <laughs> All right. This looks amazing. Oh, I can't wait to taste it already. Are we, are we going to add cocoa to it? I think we did say that we're going to add some unsweetened chocolate powder. Yes, we're going to add that soon. At the end, I think. So, yeah, wonderful, wonderful. So, Kajal has three kids, and I have two. I know. <laughs> Can't believe she made three. <laughs> oh, hurry up. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Oh, this is looking just so nice. Uh, tell them something about the texture, how it should look. It looks like a uh, dough, chapati dough. Chapa oh, it should look like chapati dough. Chapati dough, yeah. Like, you know, bread, when you make bread, right? It comes together. Yeah. So now what we are going to do, we can add a little bit milk. So we're going to add some milk. Oh, wow. I'm getting the bread out of my milk. <laughs> That's good. Now, how much milk are we going to put? One tablespoon. One tablespoon of milk. Isn't this wonderful? I just went to the fridge and got the milk. We didn't have it set, but I just went and, <laughs> and got the milk from the fridge. This is such a natural show. Look at this. <laughs> All right. So why did we put the milk now, Kaja? Why did we add the milk? Because we need to make something nice and soft. Oh, yeah. okay. So the milk helps it get a little soft. soft. And how much milk did we put? We put a little... One tablespoon. One tablespoon. That's not a lot of milk. But just for the texture, instead of water, she used milk. Oh, these cookies are going to turn out really yummy. Yeah, yeah we got our tray ready here. Ooh, that's the next step. We're going to start putting it in the tray. Wonderful, wonderful. So as you can see, now it's binding together. The dough is binding together, which that's what we need to do is bind it together. I'm going to add the cocoa. Not now. Not now, okay. All right. So we're actually trying this. This is amazing. We're actually going to make half of it with cocoa and half of it just a regular wheat flour cookie, which just has the butter the sugar, lychee, and almonds, and all the other side will have just added cocoa for the coloring, a different color. And watch how she does it. This is amazing. I mean, she taught me this, and I thought it was such a cool idea. I mean, we could just start a business making different types of, uh, you know, uh, colored cookies, you know. Now we're add, we're adding so cocoa, cocoa powder, cocoa mm -hmm. powder, which is one tablespoon of unsweetened chocolate powder. We took out half of the dough, put it in another dough, put it in another bowl, and added this unsweetened chocolate powder. So the color is going to be like chocolate. So now, the other one is going to just look lighter, and this one is going to look a little darker. This is amazing. Kajal, you just, this is amazing. Oh my god, yeah. She's always in the kitchen doing wonderful dishes and it looks good also. Yes, it, it is. Alright, so now this dough also ready. Yeah. So we have two separate doughs. One that looks like chocolate colored. And the other is just like a regular, natural. you know, natural cookie, you know, like chocolate chip cookies, you know how that color is a lightish brown. Uh, this is a butter cookie, but this is a wheat flour cookie, so it's got that wheat color, you know. So now watch how she does it. So she's making, tell Kaja what you're doing. You're making it into a ball. A ball. And just small ball. Look at that. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. So we're making it into a little ball, yes. and then we're just going to add it to the pan. So it's almost ready to get in that oven and cook. Easily, you just ball it up together like how she's just squeezing it together, and then you just flatten it. 
Yeah, look at the shape she's made. I mean, just put it on the tray. Yeah. If you simple. want, you can decorate with the facials and uh, almonds, whatever you like. It. Yes, yes. So, maybe we can get, I'll show you what that is. Let me get the almonds. I'll go out in my pantry and get that out for you guys. Now, it's so nice to involve your kids in this. You can have your kids just come out and decorate. Look at that. Just one, one, one press of an almond on the cookie. I thought that was so creative. And kids love to see nuts. And um, I was thinking, you know, maybe I could add like a chocolate chip. Some kids like chocolate. Yeah, so you can just add a chocolate chip on the top like that. Look at that. Just like that. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So you can put one chocolate chip on top. You can put an almond. And I think Kazu has an idea of, you know, you can just take a knife and you can make a pattern. Oh, like a tic tac toe. <laughs> yes, tic tac toe. Just two lines like that, and then two lines oh, like that. Isn't that amazing? I thought that was cool too. Awesome. Two two shapes, two lines across, and two lines across again. And then, like I said, you could put some. Put, yeah, show that. Isn't that beautiful? I thought that's amazing. Look at that tic tac flavor. I mean, uh, shape. Kids love uh, stuff like this, you know, shape and uh, different designs on their, you know, cookies. And can you believe it's homemade? You're not buying it from the market. You don't know what preservatives, um, you know, people put in there. Uh, you know, people put so many preservatives in their food. When you make something at home, you know how much oil is going. You know what type of things you're putting in your ingredients. And aren't you more healthier? You're a much healthier person because you know what's going inside your body. And especially for the kids that are growing. It's very important. Yeah. And mm -hmm. these cookies are very healthy. Yes. So a lot of butter, which kids... And in the winter time, you know cardamom is something very good, right? Right. Yeah. Cardamom helps the body, you know, it keeps the body, it's not a heating thing. Um, it's very good for, you know, in the winter time. Like we have Elysian tea all the time, cardamom, we put tea in our tea, we put cardamom. Ginger is very good with it, you know, but in the cookies, imagine you're putting cardamom. What an amazing smell comes from putting that. And it's also good for your body, I feel. You know, these are small tips that, you know, everybody could follow and make. I hope you guys try this at home. I, I tried it the other day and my husband couldn't believe that I made it. So I always say, you know, Kazan is my uh, savior. She comes to my rescue. You know, my husband's eating good food because of her. You know, oh my god, look at these ones. These have cocoa in it. Look at that color. You see the difference in the colors? This one's lighter and this one's darker. Isn't that amazing? Oh my god, my kids are going to die when they come home. And that's why I have her in my kitchen. So that these cookies don't go anywhere. They stay here for my kids. <laughs> no, I promise. I'll send her some home. <laughs> no, no. I, we don't do that. We share everything. Yeah. I think we should share everything. Our ideas, mm -hmm. our food, mm -hmm. our tips. No? That's why we are very good friends. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and you know what? Maybe I'll be on CNN because of my friend here. <laughs> They'll be like, have you heard of that show? Uh, Super Kitchen Talk. Uh, Super Kitchen Talk. I hope this thing, you know, y'all learn. We don't want to be famous. We're just doing this because we love it. Um, and you know what? If you try and you like it, we're so happy because we know that there are other people trying to make fresh things at home and for their health, you know, and for their kids, you know. You're taking out the time to uh, take time out to cook for the family, you know. Yeah, so, uh, Look at that. Yeah. Isn't yeah. that amazing? Well, now we're heading to the. Why don't we take them to the uh my uh the oven? She's gonna yeah. put them. So we preheated the oven at 375, and it's hot now. So she's setting it in the oven, and I think we'll be back with when it's finally done. I had a wonderful time doing this recipe. I might have made mistakes. Please forgive me. Like the milk, I had to go in the fridge and get it. But don't worry about it. Kaz is taking care of everything, and uh, we'll be back. Um, Super Kitchen cannot wait to join you again when the product is done. 
See you soon.